Bhagwan people. Well, as many of you are aware, I'm presently studying for the bar exam, which is um, to get my license. Yeah, just to remind people who don't um, know how this thing work. And um, I don't know if it's going to be redundant for some of you, but just bear with me because some people don't know. So when you're in the United States and Canada, when you graduate from law school, you're a lawyer. <laughs> you're a lawyer. And you can actually go and work in a whole bunch of places, you know, with your qualifications. But um, if you want to practice law, you have to get a license. And that license, you have to get a license for a particular jurisdiction. In the United States, it goes by the states. In Canada, it goes by the provinces, you know. You know so in Canada, if you have a license to practice in um, Ontario, you, you have to get a, a different license to practice in over in British Columbia or, or you know, or Ottawa or whatever. Whoever you know, them call them province, you know, their provinces is um, equivalent to the United States to states in the US. So here in each state, if you want to practice, you have to get a license for the state. And um and of course New York is no exception. And that license in the in the legal fraternity is referred to as you you're barred. It's the one time barred means you're in as opposed to you're prohibited, you know, that you're not in. Usually in, in lay terms, somebody say you're barred from enter. I mean, you can't get in. But in the in um, in the legal fraternity, you know, when we say, oh, is he barred in, is he barred in Connecticut? We're really saying, is he in, in Connecticut? As in, is he a member of the bar in Connecticut? As in, is he licensed to practice law in Connecticut? So in order to be barred in um, New York, you know, you you have to fulfill a whole bunch of um, requirements, and um, and one of those is to pass um, the bar exam for New York. That is that is the you know the big kahuna, the the behemoth, so to speak. So the bar exam is no joke. <laughs> It might be the hardest exam I've ever done, you know, because it's literally testing you on all the law for two days. Most states it's two days. In Louisiana, it's three days. But um, you're being tested on all the law, all the law, all the law, all the law. Yeah, um, when you're in law school, there's no way you can do all the law. You just don't have enough time in the three years. But you have certain requirements, certain fundamental, um, you know, stuff that you have to do from um, different areas of law, you know, civic procedure, property, criminal law, constitutional law, contract law, torts, etc. The result is that when you're finished and you're going to do the bar exam, you're going to be tested on areas of the law that you did not do in law school because you can't do everything. It's just so much. But it's just a weird system <laughs> because you have to go to law school for three years, but you can't do all the law. But when you finish, you're tested on all the law. So the idea is that you have to um, teach yourself or get somebody to teach you the rest of the law that you didn't do in law school, even though you're a lawyer, you know, and thing. But in order to become an attorney, to be admitted to a bar in a jurisdiction, you're going to be tested on all the law. It's kind of crazy, but that's how the system is. You have to work with it. So I am presently, I'm studying for the bar exam, and um, it's rough. And um, the program that I am on, I have to do it six days a week between eight and 11 hours each day. Six days a week between eight and 11 hours each day. 
you're just doing work non-stop and um so for and this is until right up to the um the bar exam which is on um the last tuesday and wednesday of july so i have like 55 or 56 days left somewhere thereabouts um to do all of this six days a week eight to eleven hours each day that mash me up already <laughs> yeah it's like say yeah go work it's like yeah go work so basically i have to make some adjustments and um with the idea being just do what you need for do now until the exam in july and then after that you know rest have my big celebration party um september uh 16th and you know more time whatever but just prioritize it right now so along those lines i have to make some adjustments and um so i've thought about it so i'm not going to do the wednesday show from now until the exam and i'm going to do the friday show till the third week in june after the third week in June of just doing the Friday show alone, I'm not going to do any show right up to the exam. Then after the exam, um, I'll, um, after the exam, we go back to my schedule and do more shows, you know. I still have to do Ragashanti Live on the Bridge 99 FM. I'm contractually bound to do that. So that is on Wednesday nights. I'm not doing it tonight because they're doing, um, you know, an outside broadcast for the launch of um, Reggae Sumfest. But other Wednesday nights, I'll still be doing that. But again, from now down to the bar exam, I'm not doing any more Wednesday. I'm not doing any Wednesday shows. After the bar exam, I, I'll reconvene doing um, Wednesday shows. And I'll be doing Friday shows up until the third week in june next month june start tomorrow and um which was about one month before the exam and thing you know right so for the last week of june and the three weeks in july leading up to the exam i won't be doing any shows all right i'm asking you all to bear with me you know if you're gonna do something just do it you know and do what you need to do to do it right i want to remind you championships are won in the off season a great performance is always the result of how hard you train how hard you practice success always always um, favors the prepared the more you prepare the more likely you'll be successful and um, this is not one of them thing you think you can just you know the last week before you think you can just go swat it out and and another something then. you know that is not the approach for it you know so basically we just want to do the right thing and um, put in the work and you know do my best if my pass, my pass, if my pass, I just do it again in February, you know. Um, and that's it. So I'm just asking your understanding in that regard and your patience, you know, and um, your accommodation. So, right? Blessing people. That's how the thing set, man. If you're going to do something, you have to put in the word, no? What you put in determines what you take up. If you don't make deposits, you can't make withdrawals. Okay? All right, that is that. Um, yeah, man, just go and bless upon yourself, take care of yourself, stay safe, take care of you and yours and all these things, all right? I am going back now to do... I'm doing constitutional law right now. So may I go back to it right now. It, it's fun and it's not fun. It's just tiring, you know. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
You know what I'm saying? On average, people's attention span is just two to three hours, you know? So if you go straight, 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 you know, sometimes you just reach a point where you feel like you don't even retain anything. You go over the material in it, but you don't retain anything. I'm presently fighting that, you know? Um, it's like you go work, but you know, yeah, work is like output, you know? But when you learn, it's input and, you know, you have to just take breaks. I have to take breaks and thing and, and all this stuff, but try to balance it out as much as possible. But it's not easy. It's not easy at all, but you know, you have to do what you have to do, don't you? All right? So bless upon yourself, man, and stay safe out there. Everything is everything, you know? Mr. Cherry Wash Belly Day, I represent CMA, don't you? All right? I'm a leg right now. Back to work for me. So it goes.